And what are some commonly deficient nutrients? Look at those. And which ones are these associated with? Now we know, right? Detoxification. All of these are involved in that detoxification pathway that I went over with you. And oxidative stress that causes detoxification problems. So what types of nutritional <laughs> supplementation would you consider? It's a list. I'm not going to give you dosing. Again, get yourself a nutritional encyclopedia. Get with a nutritionist. Get with your physician to make the right recommendations. I know it is really tricky. I can't even go. I have you know, so much to talk about. I can't even talk about how you would give supplements. I, I'm just going to uh, throw this out there. I know there are a lot of kids who are orally defensive. You can actually have sub supplements compounded into a transdermal, pup, transdermal preparation and you can go to a compounding pharmacist and they can take vitamin C and vitamin E and uh, vitamin B6 or B12 and they can compound it into a transdermal preparation that's a cream that you can put on your child if they're really really orally defensive and you want to at least get some nutrients in them you're like well how do I know that's really working well you know the nicotine patch Transdermal, estrogen patch, transdermal. Transdermals do work. And again, to combat oxidative stress. And oxidative stress, it, what it does is it almost like makes the cells implode on themselves. It's just they're, they're overwhelmed, they can't function. You, you hear about, the, you know, as far as like aging and stuff goes, you want to give yourself antioxidants to help your cells function to their optimum so they don't get sick, so they have all the nutrients that they need. Some of the most important ones, vitamin C, vitamin E. Also, if your child is on a restricted diet, please make sure you supplement with calcium and magnesium. And again, please get the doses from a nutritionist or a physician. And again, you want the oxidants out of, out of the cells so that your cells can function properly. And why do you want to detoxify? Why do you want all the bad things out of your body? To prevent cell injury so your cells can function properly so the toxins can be safely eliminated from your body. And again, going back to the picture of the liver, how does your body detoxify? It's designed to do that. We are all designed to detoxify what isn't supposed to be there. You sweat, you have glutathione, it carries it out of your body. There are other ways that you can do it. You can do sauna therapy, heat therapy, chelation therapy. Again, I'm just mentioning these things. I'm not going into them. How would you implement a detoxification program? Anything that you implement, again, I recommend that you talk to your healthcare provider, whoever you're working with, and explain to them what you're thinking about doing.